What's up guys? This is Corey. Welcome to CNA Films and Animation. Today I'm going to be talking about another Best Picture nominated movie. This one happened to be one of my favorite horror movies of all time, and in fact one of my favorite movies of all time for that matter. Uh, William Friedkin's The Exorcist. Now The Exorcist was based on a book by William Peter Blady, and it starred Ellen Burstyn, Max von Sydow, Lee J. Cobb and Linda Blair, among many other people. So The Exorcist uh, basically follows Ellen Burstyn plays a mother and an actress who basically strange things start happening to her daughter, uh, played by Linda Blair. Um, her daughter Reagan is having convulsions and stuff at night. She's not really sure what to do, so she goes to a couple of psychologists, a few doctors, and she's like, you know, well, what's wrong with her? Oh, they can't really tell what's wrong with her, so she ends up going to a priest who, be who believes that she may be possessed. And so uh, the priest and uh, an exorcist go to her house and try to save Reagan's soul by, you know, performing an exorcism. The film came out in 1973. And the film won two Oscars, including Best Sound and Best Adapted Screenplay. And it was nominated for eight other Oscars, including Best Picture, Best Actress in a Leading Role for Ellen Burstyn, Best Actor in a Supporting Role for Jason Miller, Best Actress in a Supporting Role for Linda Blair, Best Director for William Friedkin, Best Film Editing, Best Cinematography, and Best Set Direction. The Exorcist was a very controversial film when it came out. Uh, many religious groups, uh, you know, despised it, said, don't go see this movie. And it is known as one of the scariest movies ever made. Personally, I love this movie. This movie is one of those movies that I try to watch every year. Um, but it's not necessarily one of those movies that I just try to watch on Halloween. I try to watch it a couple of times a year at different points. Um, this is really one of my all-time favorite movies. Um, it's one of those films that I find very creepy, but at the same time, there's a lot to it. And it's more than just being creepy or being, you know, a, a horror film. There's a lot of some symbolic stuff that happens throughout that I really enjoy picking apart. The acting and the, you know, technical stuff for this movie is absolutely fantastic. It totally fits the entire film throughout. Um, it has some of the most memorable scenes in all of film history, and some of the most memorable characters as well. I think one of the reasons why I love this movie so much is that since it came out, there have been several films that try to be like The Exorcist but they never live up to what The Exorcist was. At the time, nothing was like The Exorcist. That was completely unheard of. Um, you know, well, I'm not saying that exorcism itself was unheard of at the time. I'm just merely saying that there was no films out there quite like The Exorcist. And it had a huge impact on the culture of the 70s. Um, it's one of the scariest movies for its time, and it still holds up very well today. The special effects, the makeup, all of that stuff is top-notch, uh, scary as hell, and honestly, just really damn cool. Um, yeah, I love this movie. It is truly one of the best movies I've ever seen, and I highly, highly recommend it to anyone who's interested. But do know going into it that it is not for the faint of heart. But uh, yeah, I, I love this movie. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 just because it's one of those movies that really has impacted my movie going experience every time I see it. So uh, tell me guys, have you seen The Exorcist? If you have, what'd you think of it? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Uh, share your thoughts, comment below, let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe. Be sure to check out our other videos. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you have any movie suggestions or TV suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And as always, I am Corey, and I will see you guys in the next one.